Digital technology has shifted the world in a new age of business, society, and economy. Digital technology is increasingly changing the way individuals and organizations function. Digital technology transforms how an organization operates. It requires organizations to develop new, more agile business models to compete in a fast-moving market. Technological innovations have changed the world, making it faster, easier, and cheaper to perform many tasks. Digital technology has changed the way people are managed and expect to be managed. It is enabling service providers to change their role and become a strategic part of the business. While digital technology creates new opportunities and capabilities, many of the principles and practices that existed over decades are just as important as ever. Digital and IT strategy is a means for organizations to find better ways of meeting the needs of real-life communities using a combination of existing and emerging technologies. Some of these will require new practices and changes to the prevailing culture, but many will rely on existing practices and approaches. It is essential to realize that digital and IT strategy is not just about introducing innovation. It is about building a future using a combination of new and existing methods. ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy adds a new perspective to the ITIL4 guidance and elevates the discussion around ITIL concepts to an organizational strategy level. ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy enables IT and digital leaders to influence and drive strategic business decisions by helping them with the following. Create an appropriate digital strategy aligned to the wider business goals. Understand how business and IT leaders across the globe are responding to digital disruption. Explore the use of the ITIL4 framework to support organizations on their digital transformation journey, addressing service management challenges and utilizing new technology. ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy also covers how ITIL4 can be integrated with emerging practices and new technologies to meet new internal and external challenges. The target audience for ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy includes, but are not limited to, the following. IT and business directors, heads of department, aspiring C-suite professionals, and other senior business leaders across the organization. ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy will help strategy and digital transformation consultants demonstrate how IT strategy differs from digital strategy, provide guidance for integrating digital and IT strategies, and promote the importance of a successful digital strategy on business success. The ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy course is based on the ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy exam specifications from Axelos. With the help of ITIL4 concepts and terminology and examples included in the course, you will acquire relevant knowledge to pass the ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy Certification Exam. The ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy course covers the content in relation to the following learning outcomes of the exam specification for ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy Certification. Demonstrate the use of the ITIL guiding principles in digital and IT strategy decisions and activities. Understand how to leverage digital strategy to react to digital disruption. Understand the relationship between the concepts of digital and IT strategy, the service value system, and the service value chain, and explain how to utilize them to create value. Understand how an organization uses digital and IT strategy to remain viable in environments disrupted by digital technology. Understand strategic approaches made possible by digital and information technology to achieve customer or market relevance and operational excellence. Understand the risks and opportunities of digital and IT strategy. Understand the steps and techniques involved in defining and advocating for a digital and IT strategy. Understand how to implement a digital and IT strategy. The ITIL4 Digital and IT Strategy course includes 11 modules. These modules can be part of a logical structure comprising three parts. The first two modules in part one introduce the key components of digital and IT strategy 
and the relation between strategy and different components of service value system. The modules in Part 2, Module 3 to 9, guide you through a digital and IT strategy journey in alignment with the continual improvement model. The modules in Part 3, Module 10 and 11, describe the strategic capabilities used throughout the digital and IT strategy journey. The course contains e-learning modules, a self-study guide, case study assignments, and additional documents. The e-learning modules explain the core concepts of the course, including an interactive mock exam. You can decide what and how much you want to cover per module or in a day. This is a self-paced course, so you can decide to devote more time to concepts and topics that are relatively difficult to understand. Self-Study Guide is a comprehensive source of information. It covers the content with more details in comparison to the modules. Self-Study Guide is structured in such a way that makes learning easy, simple, and consistent. ITIL for Digital and IT Strategy includes four case study assignments. You will need to complete these assignments and share them for evaluation with a trainer. You must pass all the case study assignments to take the certification exam. Last but not least, the course includes additional documents such as syllabus, exam preparation guide, mock exam, acknowledgments, and release notes. There are two forms of assessment for the ITIL for Digital and IT Strategy Certification, Practical Case Study Assignments and Multiple Choice Question Exam. A candidate must successfully pass both the Multiple Choice Exam and the Practical Assignments to achieve the certification. As described in the table, successful fulfillment of the practical assignments is a prerequisite for the multiple choice question exam. For more information about the assessments and exam requirements, you can refer to the exam preparation guide. The four assignments cover five of the syllabus's assessment criteria. You should consider completing these assignments in sequential order from one to four. The four assignments are based on a case study which describes three fictional companies. You should select one company from the case study for all four assignments. However, you are expected to be familiar with the entire case study. As part of the course material, you are provided with the Assessment Material for Candidates folder. This folder includes the components required for completing these assignments. Let us explore these components. ITIL for Digital and IT Strategy Case Study the case study document includes the case study. You are advised to read the case study thoroughly before working on the assignments. Assignment Attendees Form For completing the assignments, you are provided with four individual documents, one for each assignment. These documents provide relevant information, such as prerequisites, instructions, and schedule for completing the assignments. These documents also provide templates for writing the answers for these assignments. For evaluation, you need to submit these four documents with a trainer. Individual Takeaway Form As part of every assignment, candidates are invited to record their personal takeaways from the exercise and the training using the Individual Takeaway Form. These takeaways are not assessed. After you have successfully passed the assignments, you are eligible to take the multiple choice exam. The details for the multiple choice exam are presented on the screen. You have reached the end of the course introduction module. The key points covered in the module are presented on the screen.